This is Code.org. I'm currently working on Minecraft Hour of Code, or Minecraft Adventure. I'm on level 6, which is obviously building a house. I'm going to build all three. I'm going to start with easy, then do medium, and then do hard. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Build the rest of your house from any material you'd like. The repeat command will come in handy. And remember, repeat does what it says it's going to repeat anything inside the block three times right now or whatever number we pick so right now it will move forward one place one brick uh one birch plank and then it goes back to the top okay for a second time move forward one place a birch plank back to the top for a third time move forward one place a birch plank and now it's done so it goes to the next line of code underneath it so that sounds good we then turn right and how many times do we want to move? So we would want to, after we turn right, we'd want to move forward one, place a birch plank, move forward one, oops, move forward one, right? And this is our code that, that we can use, game area and workspace. Move forward, uh, place a plank, move forward, place a plank, and move forward, place, let's test this. Okay, so far so good. But I'm already seeing a faster way to do this, right? So what if we, they gave us this repeat loop. Notice that I then repeated all of my code, right? So I could use a repeat loop to do move forward birch plank, move forward birch plank. So just like they did, I could use another repeat loop myself like this and have my character move forward automatically. Let's test. Move right and then do this again. Yep. Or, um, here, let's go ahead and turn right and do this again. And then I think we need to do, oop, I'm going to get rid of that stuff. This code. Let's give it a shot. Perfect. Now what? Build the rest of your... Oh, great. So I just want to show one other thing. I'm going to hit replay. You could also use only one loop or one repeat. I can move this code in here. That will make them move forward three times, right? Place perch planks and then turn right at the end. This will also work. Mm-hmm. But if you want to get really fancy, you could also use this still. I believe this might not work. We shall find out together. So what's happening here is we're going to repeat all of this three times. And then inside of that, we need to three times repeat brick, birch plank, move forward, whoop, place a plank, move forward, whoop, place a plank, move forward, whoop. And once we hit three times on that, we then turn right. So look how little code we could use. So this is the best solution. Okay. I'm now going to use the, um, medium build. Check out that video if you're interested in a challenge. Having done easy, now I'm going to go ahead and click on medium. It has the code I had here before where I showed you you can put these repeat loops in one another, right? And this one's going to be a bit different though, so I'm going to take this repeat out. Let's see, I got to go forward. I'm not even sure how much, but if we do... 
I'm going to just count how many times as my as my character moves. So I'm going to put this in here. And I don't think it's three. I think it's going to be closer to six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh. Okay. So I believe it would be seven and then... Turn right. I'm going to get rid of all this code from last time. And then we can use this three times, right? Because I think I should move forward then. Oh no, only two times. So actually, I will go ahead and once I turn, I want to move forward. And then I want to place that and that. And then I want to turn right again. I think I need another move forward. And then I want to go up three, maybe? Let's see. Oop, I went too far. So we want this to be six. Let's try now. Okay, so we want to place and then turn, I guess. Okay, and then I want to go forward one, two, three, maybe. But you know what? I bet. I bet if we do, because I would start repeating myself. Let's try doing this. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to move this stuff in there. And... Three times, that won't be it. Let's just do it twice and see. Almost. All right. And then we would need to turn left once. Oh, no, we need to go forward one more time. Move forward. Let's lay down some Birch. Let's turn left. Move forward. Birch. Turn right. And then I think we need to go forward twice. So let's repeat two times. Forward. And place Birch, maybe? Let's see. That gets us anywhere. Success! We have done it. Excellent. I'm going to now go ahead and try um, the most difficult house. So I'm going to hit replay. And I'm going to refresh this page. Alrighty, I'm up for a challenge. So this is the code I already had. Oh my goodness, that's going to be annoying. Okay, I'm going to just toss all this out. Let's hit start over. So that way they start us with the... Okay, so this is what we're starting with. I'm going to hit run and see what we have thus far. Oh, okay. So we do have some good stuff here. Forward, forward, forward left and then we would want to go forward a few more times and then right oh left got it and then right well our next move would be right so i wonder if we go right well, let's do this because it looks like we are going to repeat this move we're going to move right and then we're going to go forward and place Burge. And I want to do that. Move right, forward and Burge. Oh, oh. But I want to do this three times. So I'm going to put a loop within a loop, within a loop. All right. So let's see what this does. Or a repeat is what I mean by loop. 
So move forward, move forward, move forward. It does that three times. Whoops, we did that too much. I think I only needed it twice. Let's try that again. Yeah, because there's only two bricks. Now we're going to drop into this, move forward, move forward. Yep, twice. Oh, oh, stop turning. Oh, we only need this to repeat twice, too. Alright, and then I'm actually thinking it would be better to place the birch here. Darn, I guess that didn't make a difference. Alright. Let's go ahead, though, and now we're going to... Actually, I want to try, if I put move forward... Trying to make this as, this code as efficient as possible. Oops, nope. Definitely not that. Alright, let's go back to how I had it. Boom. Boom. I guess I'll even leave that out. Alright. So we end with one more, and then we have to skip a step. A house without a corner. Strange. Okay. So we have that set. Now I need to move forward, lay birch, but then I need to move forward, turn right, and then I think I'm going to repeat one, two, three times to move forward and then place birch. Let's see what this does. Ta-da! And we have done it. And I've completed all three homes. So, success! Awesome, let's keep going.